Uh, what's nice to be in a room, isn't it, where everyone's not on their phone? It's an achievement in itself these days, isn't it? Sit like, over Christmas, I'm sick of just being around people. Con- people you don't expect to be on their phones, like your auntie in her 70s, like a teenager. It's like, you should be knitting. <laughs> my, my aunt is 78. She told me recently she got this text offer, right, that said, you are eligible for a singles vacation. She was like, hello, still got it. <laughs> Off to Ibiza. Popped her glasses on, read it again, realised it actually said, you are eligible for a shingles vaccination. <laughs> oh, took the wind out of her sails. Um, so, anyway, yeah, I had a good day today. Well, it was all right, I was with my kids. Um, I um, took them to the park. The hours I spend in parks and play areas, how good are parks now compared to the rubbish we had when we were kids? Oh, they're like wooden fortresses now. There's drawbridges, tunnels going through the side of a hill. All the floor, black rubber matting. They fall off a swing, they just bounce onto a slide. <laughs> the other week, my seven-year-old had the nerve to say he was bored. I said, bored? You've got a zip wire, you little shit. <laughs> it's like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. <laughs> so when I was a kid, all we had in the park was broken glass and sex offenders. That was it. <laughs> That's why we're better at hide and seek. It's a fact. Kids are shit at hide and seek now. No incentive. But um, the other week, I saw a man in the park in flip-flops. Have oh, you seen fine with that? Flip-flops in December. Right, as a nation, we need to agree on a flip-flop cut-off date. I don't know when it needs... November the 12th, after that, you're not allowed to wear flip-flops. They're for the summer on the beach. They're not for Tesco's Express mid-December. And I can sense already there's a, bit, there's a bit of attitude from a few of you. I know there's some flip-flop wearers in here. Winter wearers looking at me like, what's your problem, mate? Eh? I wear flip-flops in the winter. Slip them on. I'm cool. I'm casual. You're not. You're too lazy to put socks and shoes on. So we've all got to look at your hairy, veiny feet, have we? It's the equivalent of going out in public with one ball hanging out. The only time I like seeing a man in flip-flops is at the urinals at the service station toilets. It's like, <laughs> I've had a long journey and three coffees. You are about to learn a valuable lesson. 